Easy. Hey, easy. Hey. So my name is Jason Lopes. I'm the lead systems engineer for Legacy LegacyFX. My specific functions is to oversee in the design room, as well as to run the 3D print lab, as well as to monitor and uh, report all the external printing that we do, and fully in charge of our 3D scan studio as well. We jumped into the game of 3D printing in 2008, and at that time we needed an all-around solution, so we went with PolyJet technology. Literally within the first year of our first machine, I began realizing that at the end of the day, these are just prototypes. I had a lot of hope that something new was going to happen here, and then I met Carbon. And immediately, it's been what I've been asking for for years. Carbon technology can give you detail like you have not seen before with other standard high detail machines. On top of that, the speed. I could bang out a head in an hour and seven minutes in high detail in carbon technology and bring that in before morning break and we could be working on version two. So what I consider the boring parts, they still go to my other existing technology allowing me to focus and really push the limits of what I'm trying to bring here to Legacy. Everyone sees the amazingness that Legacy creates and it's, it's beautiful work. But what they don't get to see is what's inside of these creations. And unfortunately, the items that we use are not store-bought items. We need to customize bracketry for the components to fit in. This is literally right off the machine and out of the oven. This is a 17-minute print that baked out in the oven and Holes tapped, everything's perfect, the accuracy is spot on. What something like this is used for, I'm gonna turn it on. So this is just a generic example of how we would use something on set. So if we had a creature or a character that had arms, tentacles, this bracket would be mounted inside for all the cable driving. And RPU is a perfect, perfect material for us to accomplish that. Just because it's an engineering material doesn't mean it needs to be used on a strictly engineering type part. With what Carbon has as far as the EPU material, we've been starting to develop an R&D this on a lot of the big Marvel movies. I'm starting to tease it into our fabrication and our costuming world with very complex designs that just can't be molded into these under materials. They have a lot of undercuts. And I have an example here. I'm gonna show it from the back side since We'll see it in the future, but uh, this is right off the machine out the oven. And when we're building suits and undersuits, this is what we've been looking for for years. We can do high resolution designs on, on A side of it, undercuts, things that have never been possible or have taken weeks to do. I can tell you right now that I really look forward to showing all the carbon work that we've been doing on Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Avengers 3, uh, stuff for the new Tick reboot. Uh, we've done some really, really, really cool stuff and it's not just rigid hard parts. Things that we've never tried to do before with 3D printing being so prominent on such a hero character.